hitting that like button while we talk about Southern against UNLV, uh, the Vegas debut of Kevin Kruger's team for 2023-2024. They're a 19-and-a-half-point favorite. 146-and-a-half is our total in this one. Big man, we're right back to you. I think I know which way you're going because it's kind of similar to what your Creighton play was. Let's see if I'm on to that. Let's see if I'm right on that. Big man, what are your thoughts on this one with Vegas uh, opening things up at home? Yeah, I was I was surprised to see this game under twenty. Um, I, I just I'm not really sure like why. Like I I don't know what Southern did in game one that shows that this game's going to be competitive at all. Look, I guess people will point to the fact that UNLV won this game by ten last season. But look, I'm not going to say I'm a, a an absolute expert at the SWAC, but I'm close to being one. And the difference in Southern's team between last year and this year is quite large. You look into that game last year that was a 10-point matchup. Uh, Bryson Etienne uh, scored 25 points. There was no other player for Southern that had double digits. Bryson Etienne's gone. Uh, Brian Whitley's gone. Th- th- this this Southern roster is pummeled. Uh, they're not going to be very good. That was evident in game one. They lost by 33 points and gave up 108 to TCU. Now, I'm not telling you that TCU's not better than UNLV because they are. But when you look at UNLV and Kevin Kruger, their goal is they want to play fast they want to play up and down. And, and when you play fast against SWAC teams, um, is it a layup line? No, but it's kind of close to one. Um, they're just not very good defensively. They don't make shots. They're not good three-point shooting teams generally. Um, they're just behind the eight ball in games like this. And if you're going to give me a number under 20 against a SWAC opponent, against a team like UNLV, who I think the roster is better this year. I really like what they have. They added a, a couple of really solid transfers from Good universities, including Jalen Hill, who was at Oklahoma, Caleb Boone, who was at Oklahoma State. I like this spot. Anything under 20, I'm going to lay it with the running Rebels, who I think are pretty good. I think they're a top four or five team in the Mountain West, and Southern is significantly worse than they were last year. Nadu's rolling. He took, like, all of my follow-up stop, uh, stuff. I was going to ask about the transfers. I was going to ask about Southern getting beaten, giving up 108 points and what that matters. You covered all that very well. Uh, on that so we know what what, what he do. likes what what his side is it is what you do corby any other thought here about this one including unlv overall in the mountain west including with the transfers i think southern did their best to try to keep value in this game right here i, I agree with jeff and i'm probably going to add this personally in, in just a little bit but uh, they shot 41 percent from three like but they lost by what 32 and they did the best that they could uh i don't think that they had anything else for this tcu team exactly. commissions he mentions you, UNLV brings in a few guys from from big schools, uh, uh, reputable names. And let me just tell you, the number one per basketball almanac, shout out Matt Cox, um, the number one newcomer that Southern brings in is Anthony Jacks from Indiana River State. Uh, I, it's just, it's a complete differential in, in teams and styles and matchups. Like, I don't know. If Southern shoots 42% again, I think that they probably cover this 19. Uh, maybe. Maybe cover this night. They'll they'll have a shot, uh, but I don't imagine that that can happen very frequently unless they got some new system of of practicing shooting over the off season that uh, the Syracuse Orange need to find as well. But no, I, I think this is a complete mismatch under twenty twenty one. I think you're plenty fine here. All right, let's lock him in. The big man says running Rebs, and he will lay nineteen and a half in this matchup at the Thomas and Mack Center coming up, one of the last games of the night on a Wednesday night. We- 